This is the way how a research introduction section would be structured in a research paper. So let us check whether each of these are correct. So background section, climate change is a major global concern that has been intensified by the increasing frequency and extreme weather events. So I have a general section on a general statement on climate change is one of the most pressing statement. Yes, this looks like a nice definition for climate change. So take it from here. I'll move it over here. So climate change is a major global concern that has been intensified by increasing. Okay, so this is my outline generated by Copilot. I also need to add a reference for this, so I will add a note to myself. References for this particular statement. And then Copilot recommends that after the background section, I structure the document to have a topic important statement. What is the topic important given by Copilot? The impact of climate change on human health is of utmost importance as affects the physical and mental well being of communities and individuals. Okay, so I take it from there. I can place the topic importance here. Seems like a good place because here we have the impact of climate change. The impact of climate change on human health is of utmost importance as it affects among a diverse impact. The implication for human health is increasingly evident. So this seems like the the one generated by Copilot seems a much better topic important statement. So I'll probably delete this one. It is not needed. So I have a topic importance. Now as per Copilot's outline, there is a grow, existing knowledge is needed in the particular introduction section. There is a growing body of research in the relationship between climate change. Okay, existing knowledge. After the topic importance, I'll place my existing knowledge here. So topic important statement, it can't be limited to just one sentence. So there will be additional reading needed. So I'll be adding additional references here. So I'll review literature a bit more and add more topic important statement now that I know what is needed here. And this is where we have pasted the existing knowledge section. There's a growing body of research that has investigated the relationship between climate change. Much remains unknown about the specific mechanisms and pathways. Okay, there's a growing body of research. This is where I will again refer to literature and add more references. In addition, the increasing frequency have resulted in immediate impacts. Now this seems like an impact of climate change. So maybe I will take it from here and I will move it here to structure it better. So right now I have the, the background, the topic importance, the existing knowledge section. Let us overwrite over here. What else is needed for introduction section? You need the knowledge gap. So lack of understanding is a significant knowledge gap. So knowledge gap. So once I have the complex relationship, maybe add the knowledge gap here because you have existing knowledge, a couple of lines on existing knowledge, and then we have a statement on what is still not known. What is the knowledge gap? Lack of understanding. So yeah, we have a nice knowledge gap statement. And here we have established the basis for our research. So that's the knowledge gap. And then the next section that is needed is the rationale for the study. Why is the study important? The rationale is to investigate the impact. All right, this seems good. The rationale for this study is to impact. Perhaps I'll revise this to study. It's to impact the risk of climate change and human health and cell pathways. Well, the rationale statement seems good. No changes needed there. And since I did not have any more text to begin with. The rationale statement can go in as is. And after the rationale statement, the research questions, what are the specific mechanisms? Okay. So my rationale statement is here. The rationale is pretty straightforward, so nothing more to add there. So I add research questions. What are the specific mechanisms and pathways? Maybe I'll revise this a little bit. Study us the following research questions. 
episode one, maybe I, this is a better format to ask a question. What are the specific mechanisms and pathways? Okay, so I'm not looking at the mechanisms and pathways. So how does climate change? Keep it a little broad than being specific. And two, how can we mitigate? All right, so this is the research question section from the outline and after the research question we need the aim and objectives take this aim aim and objectives let's go over here the aim of this research is to identify the specific mechanisms so since i'm not going to be identify the mechanisms i'll keep it a little broad identify how climate change affects human health okay so you see I can use the original template and modify it as per my requirement such that the paper sounds exactly how I want it to sound and conveys my thought processes and research. And as per the outline, there should be a hypothesis statement, but because my study does not involve any hypothesis, I don't need this. So fair enough, I will delete the XX excess text that has been generated, it's not needed. All right. So starting from two paragraphs, I now have a decent outline of an introduction section. I have the topic importance here and I have my original text that I had written. And then I have to add some more references after literature review. And you have the background, the topic importance, fair enough. Some more references to be added here after literature review. And there is existing knowledge. That is nice. So I did not think about adding existing knowledge. I thought that would just be part of background. So there is some specific reading to be done regarding that. And then there is the knowledge gap, lack of study. Yes, so you have a knowledge gap. And then it flows very nicely from the knowledge gap to the rationale for the study. And then the aims and objectives. So yeah, this seems good. The outline has helped me provide a nice structure to my introduction section. But then I see that this sentence is a little too big. Fair enough, no problem. Copilot has this trim feature. Trim, or maybe I'll just try to paraphrase the original sentence. All right, so this is way too big. Let me just check if I can rephrase it a little bit better. something generated the research on the link between climate change and human health is leading to a total influence All right I replace it research on the link between climate change but there's still a lot to learn about the processes this is more simplified yes this is a more simplified version so I'm going to try trim on another sentence this one this is way too big has 40 words it's too big for my taste let me see whether I can trim it down to something a little less bulky. Okay, so I have a 31 word replacement to the original 40 word text. I'll replace it. Extreme weather events like hurricanes, floods, of course, physical injuries. Oh, beautiful. So this has trimmed the original sentence into two separate sentences. This is good to go. Thank uh you. -huh.